Hey everybody, and welcome to the finale of Sonic Unleashed. We've had our fun, we played the game, now it's time to relax and take a look at everything we unlocked. There are a total of 216 items in the game, and we got every single one. Now it's time to look at every single one, except for the music. I'm not going to play every single song, maybe I should. How about this, I'll play the ones I really like. I think that's fair. Okay, artwork. We're going to look at all this artwork, and this is the one I've been most looking forward to, because this is the one where they say the enemy, but the name of every single enemy in this game. That was the Thunderball. These jerks will zap anything that gets too close. So this is kind of like your little Pokedex, I guess. And you get to see a whole bunch of sketches. Um, this hat, I know the last video might be kind of short, but this has to be its own, its own video, because this could take a while. Arrow Cannon. These flying blue baddies launch missiles at you from the air. Mole Cannon. These are the guys that pop out of the ground. I, we remember all those. Those guys were especially in Shamar. Interceptor. This is definitely recognizable. This was the mini boss. You get to see a bunch of artwork. This is really cool. I've never been a good artist, but I've always loved looking at other people's good art. Mm -hmm. uh, and this is the other boss. What's it called? Arrow Chaser. Egg Shooter. Um... Oh yeah, these are the Missile Guys, Egg Shooter, that's what they're called. But what are the Latcher Guys called? I think that's this one, yeah. Egg Shackle. I don't really want to go too much out of order here. Um, these are the guys that were in uh, Adabat, remember? Where you had to actually jump on these to bounce really high, the Egg Springs. Um, so even though I'm like, oh, I'm never going to be able to remember each individual robot, but usually you do. Egg Fighter Knight, um... That was the guy, he was in Eggman Land, right? Those were the guys, that's where I remember them from, from that hallway in Eggman Land that splits in two paths. Then you turn left and have to dodge the little spike swing thing near the beginning. Egg Fighter Shield, oh, I definitely remember these guys. These guys were annoying. I think they were in many different missions. Egg Shackles, we saw those in the last mission. Those are the things that latch onto you and they bomb. I think they're in a bunch of missions where you can't take damage. And these guys were in both day and nighttime missions, I believe. Um, the Egg Blizzard. The Egg Flame. And I did remember the name of the wind one. It's called the Egg Typhoon. Or The Egg Typhoon. Not even Sonic can get far against these baddies. Well, Sonic the Werehog, anyway. I mean... I mean, you're faster than the speed of sound. you got to be faster than the speed of wind. And our final robot enemy, it's not a boss, I don't show the bosses here, is the Electro Spinner. These harmless foes make for great... Harmless? Is that supposed to be like a joke? No, those are the guys that you have to time it well, because you don't want to... That, 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 that's something wrong there. Okay, so there's two different Dark Bats. There's a Dark Bat Sniper, and just a regular old Dark Bat. The uh, Dark Bat, they're pretty much the same other than the fact that, well, I didn't mean to do that again. The Dark Bat Sniper snipes at you, while the Dark Bat's harmless and usually used for, like, puzzles and, you know, more than anything else. Uh, yeah. Thunder, Enemy Arc 17, yes, these upgraded Dark Bat let out a mean jolt. And then we have the Hornet. Fastest baddies around these guys are top of the charts for hardest to hit. I'm sorry if there's thunder outside. Enemy art. Spike, do not touch the floating bombs. Wait a minute. Well, yeah, when they're bombs, you don't want to touch them. Yeah, but you have to use those a lot. Dark Master. These are the only ones I could kind of refer to by name. They uh, carry wands and spawn other enemies. And, of course... We had the Fire Master and the Thunder Master. Oh yeah, you have to press R when you're in here. Um, I'm not gonna be going to. I'm not gonna be going back out of it every single time just for this one because I kind of because. Uh, well, actually, any anything that has a description. Oh yeah, and we're not watching the secret movies because all those are they're not even secret movies. They're just all the cutscenes. But we are gonna watch the last one because that's. The, you know, the ultimate prize, Secret Movie 36. Um, Nightmare. Okay, I was wrong. Yeah, that's not. The Nightmare is the regular enemy. Um, the thing I was trying to refer to, Dark Fright. Dark Fright, Nightmare. Oh. Big Mother. Could have at least remembered this. 
Big Mother, uh, and that is a, I remember that, wait, closing my eyes, closing my eyes, Chomper, a Little Rex, <laughs> Chomper, yeah, I remember, I, Titan, that one's kind of easy, you gotta remember the Titan. But there's a lot of secret artwork in this game. Uh, and now we have all the stage arts. Um, I don't, now I don't really need to see the descriptions. I know where all these places are, so now I'm just going to stay on the full screen things. Okay, well that is uh, Apatos, clearly, the windmill aisle. Um, looks like more of the windmill aisle. That looks like the actual stage rather than the village. A little narrow, though. Glad they decided to make it wider for the actual game. And, of course, you got to have an overhead view, which is cool. Kind of too bad you never really got to go, like, through the mountains in the, uh, in any of the stages, it seemed. Kind of would have been cool. But it was good as it was. Uh, well, I definitely remember the going up and down stairs in both, in, um, Lots of, you know, roads with stairs on them in both the day and the night stages. And then we move on to Haloska. Haloska. Yeah, Haloska is the second continent, and Spagonia is actually the fourth, I think. For some reason, it did that. Hmm. Anyways, um. Yeah, this is the village. So, a lot different from the first one, for sure. But, it's still a nice place. Um. Definitely remember something like this. I mean, it looked different in the actual stage. This was kind of the closest thing other than Eggman Land to a day stage. It actually looked dark. Of course, I think this is actually when it is at night. Not really sure. I think the night ones might all come at the end, though. Yeah, this is Spagonia. This must have been an advanced artwork, because I think Sonic looks like a lot more than the sketch here. Um, yeah, that's Spagonia. That is also Spagonia. Okay, stop thundering. Or whatever that sound is. Is it just from the game? Yeah, so they do show some night. I think that was from night, right? That was from night, yes. Moons don't typically come up during the day. This was... This is also Chunan. Yeah. This is Chunan. This is part of one of the stages, isn't it? I don't know. I don't even remember where that was. Oh, yeah, well, I remember that, definitely. It's kind of cool how they show you some of the nighttime stage designs during the day. Hmm. No, but you did run on the Great Wall during the day, right? Yeah. And now we're on to the Pyramids of Shamar. This must have been early designs where they're starting to think of things with desert levels and stuff. Because we're not really seeing much of the village. Well, that looks like part of the village. Um... We aren't to Adabad now. Didn't show much of Shamar, but no oh well. Uh, Adabad, Jungle Joyride. Oh my. Um, I'm kind of glad they didn't decide to include anything underwater. I think Sonic and Underwater have never really mixed too well for me. Uh, I mean, even though Aquarium Park was one of the levels I like better about Sonic Col better in Sonic Colors, I liked it better than some other levels. Um, mostly just for the music. Um, the actual underwater parts, not great. Never really happened. Uh, that was... Oh, you know, we know this part, don't we? Yeah, it's just, I'm confused by the light sky, but <laughs> this is that part where that really annoying fight happens. Yeah, the very last part of the last stage. Uh, and here we have... It looks like the same thing. Um... This also looks like a part of the last stage. There's that part where you're kind of just going through the high buildings and stuff. And that looks like the temple again, but at night. And did we not already see something like that? Okay, this is kind of getting confusing. Although we can... Wait, let's look. Let's look at some of the descriptions here. Wait a minute. Oh, that was the inside of the Gaia Temple, apparently. And this is... Ruins Panorama Night. Oh, what about this? Oh, Chunan Village Night. Apparently they got that one a bit out of order, but oh well. Okay, so now we're on to Eggman Land. Yep, not really a village, but still show the whole thing. Or they try to. 
that looks more like the opening cutscene. Oh, we know this. This is one of the most famous screenshots from the game. Uh, I think it's actually one of the first ones you unlock too, even though it's way on. Uh, and these are all these are all from the beginning of the game. All these cutscenes right here. But not this one. This one is from uh. This one is when you go to that place in Missouri to rescue Professor Pickle. And this is from that other cutscene. Now this, what is this? Let's take a look. Stage Art 34, Movie Still 7, Eggman Land Panorama. Mm, kinda wish you could see the descriptions here. That's Alexis, that's... I'm not gonna be able to remember all these guys' names. These are just characters, it doesn't matter. So, I don't really have much to say about that, so we're just gonna go through them kinda quicker. But it is cool that they have, like, really different designs for all these characters. Well, I remember that was Gregorius. I, I can't remember some of their names. Um, what were their names? Oh, oh, that was Marquetta. I remember that. And that was Jari Thor? E either that guy or that guy was Jari Thor. Um, Jari Thor, whatever. Um, shoot. Don't remember these guys too much. That was Otto, I think. And that was Chun. He was rather important. And that was the Elder. What was his name? He, he's important. I gotta know his name. Zonchen. That's right. And Zonchen's wife, I think. And now I think we're in Shamar. The two little girls. Oh, uh, I guess I only designed one of them. Oh, what are the other names? I think one of them was like Layla, one of the girls. One of the older women. I remember him, that's Nagi. Oh wait, no, Nagi's the little boy, right? I think one of them's like Julian or something. Not Julian, but like... Who we... Jamal. Yeah. Nagi, Texanay, Jamal, Rudy. What's the name of that old man? He was kind of important. Oh yeah, Ishan. Ishan. Of course, this guy was the professor's assistant from Spagonia that... See how they had it? I love the sketch here. Look, you know, like, really cheerful by day, but by night he's all cursed. You can see they were thinking about that. And, of course, that's Professor Pickle. Um, are we back at the beginning? Yes, we are. Alright. So, now I think that we'll move on to music, and... I will play some of the songs that I like. How about I'll choose five? Hey guys, um, so I think that I'm going to I pick my five musics, and we're going to do them in order from my fifth favorite to my first. Now my number five favorite in the game, Jungle Joyride, Day Stage. We're only going to listen to these for about a minute each, because I don't want to spend too, too long on this. And of course, I have it a bit louder than usual. Oh, I have to stay for the good part of it. Alright. That should be about enough for that. And my number four in the game is going to be soundtrack. That was soundtrack number nine, and I'm going to pick soundtrack number 19 in the game for my number four favorite soundtrack in this game. No, never mind, number 20. That was just the intro.
Okay. There might be some more parts, but that's pretty much the main part that I really like. Okay, and for that number three, I am going to choose Secret Soundtrack. Uh, not Secret. <laughs> um, all these are main stage soundtracks. Well, most of them. Um, number seven, Day Stage Dragon Road. I wonder why they couldn't have just included the intro in the stage like they did for the, uh, like they did for the, uh, these levels in the nighttime one. Oh, well. Anyway, the song is really beautiful, as are the other two. The first one was more, like, up-tempo and really got you ready. The last one was very cool. This one's beautiful. This is also my favorite stage in the game. I like them all, but this one's probably my favorite. If for nothing else but the atmosphere. Alright, that, that's it. We have now my number two favorite in the game. I think we've already taken a look at this one. But soundtrack 16, Cool Edge, and it still says new. Must not have saved when I listened to it the first time. This one starts off slow, but it gets really good. And this is my favorite nighttime level in the game. By, by, by far. Like, I, I like this one better than some of the daytime levels, actually. Still warming up. Getting better. I like the little effect of the music notes. Here we go. Maybe your mind's like if you're going sweating, maybe. Night sweating. And you know. Or maybe skiing and you're like you take a, it takes a while for you to get through the you know, you don't start going quickly downhill for a while. 
So yeah. That's Cool Edge Night Stage. And now my number one song in the game is soundtrack number 11. The only time in the game where the word Warhog is actually apparent. Just kidding. Although this isn't a bad song. But yeah, it's the only time in the game I think you actually see the word Werehog. But uh... My real number one is number, uh... I believe number eight. Yes. There it stands, of course. Although it was pretty close between this one and number two. I'm confident in my decision. Almost the virtual opposite of number two in terms of location. One thing I do not mind in music, especially video game music, is repetition. Um, I know that some people like longer tracks better, maybe. Not me. I mean, I longer tracks are fine if they take a while. That's actually I like that. But if it's if it is a repetitive track and it's good. Then I like it. And that's just the case here. I, I don't want it too repetitive. But like, even like something as repetitive as the song of storms, it's okay for me. And can you hear that little thing in there? It goes da 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 da. What I like. Okay, it's ten minutes just listening to the music. I didn't expect that, but, you know. Yeah. We haven't played it all through, but I want time to look at the documents and watch the last movie. Alright. Um. Okay. Power, these are basically just tips and tricks. Might as well look at them all. Uh, but only briefly, since I kind of already know everything. Yeah, Sonic grows to learn the wear rush skill. And you turn extra commands, mid dash, or an extra hit. Night stage foes all. Yeah, they all have their patterns. I should turn the volume down now. There we go. Yes, by just tapping the jump button, you can do a quick jump. Did it say more there? What else? Yeah, when you want to climb without losing your pace, that's very useful. Elements like fire and electricity. Uh, yeah, so there's more than one use for the stomp attack. We know that. You break things, but you can also use it like if you're floating down air, you want to get to the ground quicker. Action chains. Yeah, there are times when you want to homing attack, but there's times when you just want to boost the enemies. Um, Telling us about the guy gates. I think we know enough about that. I uh, think we know enough about those. Now, this, wait a minute, hold up. This is probably something that I could have read a long time ago, huh? Where, how do you get more sun medals? Yeah, it's only one of the factors that actually has to do with time. The other ones have to do with fight and grabbing energy from rings. It's not too clear on that, but of course now I get what it means. Yeah, if you have trouble. Uh, guard cancel. Guard while mid-action to cancel that action. Perfect for reaction. I did not use that enough, but eh, I think I did alright without it. Uh, why throw foes? Some enemies are especially weak to throws. Get strong faster. Smash the pots. Um... Unleash mode is the Warehog's ace in the hole and it can save Sonic's hive. It's not free, but can pound foes. Yeah, so timing is key. Yeah, let's talk about the explosive enemies. Uh, the wear claw. So yeah, that's how you stun enemies and throw them. Combos. Um... Do guy gates actually exist? It's 
See, when they say all around the world, that kind of confused me, because at first I interpret that as that it's meaning it actually exists. Like, because they pretty much just tell you things that you have already known. Huh. Uh, when to defend. Use the warehog guard ability. Yes. Okay. Yes. Um. Now the rest of this we don't really need to look at because I think all it is is item locations. Various item locations. Yeah. So. Uh, I guess now we can move on to the movie. All of these are just various cutscenes from the games. Actually, now that I think about it, didn't I say there was a cutscene I was going to show that um, was part of... Yeah, this one right here. This is the cutscene I don't think I ever showed because... At least not all of it. I think it was this one. It was either this one or the one where you first beat it. I'm pretty sure it was this one. Yeah, I didn't show this one. This is a cutscene you can only get like right when you come through the levels. This is just where that guy first appears. That's all it is. But I did want to show that. At least say I did it. Okay, so you gotta save the speech for later, staff roll. Movie number 36. Question mark? What is it? Let's take a look. So, yeah, um, I don't think that's, you know, if you don't want to say that's not worth everything in the game, if you should get something else like Super Sonic, maybe, I don't know. I know that in the other version there's two more videos, there's one that's in Halaska and one in either Adabat or Shamar, I think. But that's the only one that's in the Wii version, and PS2 version, so yeah. Okay, well, that's it, um, why don't we go back to the title screen and admire our things. Yeah, there's only 14 lives in the game, I hope. If it turns out there's 15, that's going to totally ruin this moment. Okay, I'm going to the very end of the book. there's any way I'm really going to tell, but as far as I know, it's good enough. So yeah, this is the first time I've ever really, really 100%ed this game, and I'm so happy. Check it out. 14 medals. Uh, 14 medals. Uh, 103, 14 lives, 103 sun medals, 71 moon medals. Um... Yep. So that is Sonic Unleashed. Um, so next up is Metroid Other M. And I'm ready for it. Now the thing is, I'm going to miss this game. I really like this game a lot. Um, I do. I kind of have said, I think, everything there is to say. Everything I have to say about this game. I've said already. Uh, it's a great game in my opinion, and I really think that anyone looking for a good game to play should give this one a chance. A real chance. Do it. Um, but it's time to move on. Uh, next up is Metroid Other M. 
I tried to LP this game before, and it was a disaster to say the least, because I don't think I knew it that well. I did not know it as well as I thought I did, um, and, like, apparently I forgot how many times I got stuck the first time, maybe, and having to, because I did use a walkthrough occasionally during my first playthrough, so my attempted second playthrough, which was the LP, I just didn't do that well, and... So that's why I decided I need to play this game again. I did play again. It was a while ago, but I think I remember enough. Um, <laughs> like I said, I'm not going to get stuck in the elevator shaft again. It's not going to happen. And I have faith in myself. We can do this, right? I took a break. I put it on hold. I said I'm not going to quit this. And eventually I am quitting it because, you know what, I'll, I'm starting over at the beginning rather than from part 7 or whatever. So yeah. Are you all ready for that? It's a game that I find to be just as overhated and underrated as this. Not just as much. I mean, I put this is my number one, that is my number two. I didn't originally put it like that, but that's what I would put it as now. And we're gonna... But that's a... That's a story for another time, eh? So, this is the world. Uh, have we done absolutely everything in this game? Yes, except for S rank, those two levels. Which I don't think matters. We have everything. I think having everything is enough for 100%. Okay, we're done everything. Is there anything else? The only other place we haven't been is the options screen. Wherever that might be. That's where you can change your control setup. That's the only place in the game we haven't been. We must find it. We must find it. It's on options. Yes, we haven't been to this screen yet. Hooray. Language settings. You get a lot, a lot of different languages in this, in this game. I mean, you do go all around the world. Of course, this is where you can select all the different controllers for the game. Okay, and with that, we're done. We're out, and I will see you guys on Skyward Sword and eventually Metroid Other M. See you guys later.